very difficult for many people, particularly massage people, because we spend lots of time, you know, we walk around the table like this, we don't lose contact, yeah? Много трудно за масажистите, които постоянно гледат от контакт с пациента. Now I say, do a little bit and then go away. А пък аз я не казвам, да правете малко и излезнете. Because her brain needs to understand, needs to respond. If the body is going to do it, she needs time to bring in that information. Мозът има нужда от време да обработи информацията. So it's what I call An appropriate response mechanism. If I hold my hand out, you shake my hand. If I wave at you, you wave back. If I had that in the street, someone goes, Hi! And you go, Hi! You don't even know who they are. Ако, например, някакъв на улицата предпочтение да познава, това че той ви маха или ви... Learn response. If I was a stranger and I went up to Ina and I said, Hey, Ina, she said, Ooh. Her appropriate response would be to change her body language. Ако бях не познат и от тези приняли просто искам да я прегърна, тя ще ще се дърпам и да промени начин, в който да дъртя от. So in this instance, Sylvia's brain is saying, how do I change, how do I respond to this input? It has to have information. It says, what's happening? It's not massage, it's not, it's not tickling, it's not rubbing, it's not painful. So therefore, the systems of her body have to start to talk to each other. И системите на нейното тяло трябва да започнат да си комуникират за това тази тези. So we've used her fascial system and her adipose, which is the endocrine. Използваме фасциалната система, масната и тъкън, която е ендокринна. Африн и ефрин. I don't know what those are, doesn't matter for the minute. So therefore that's brought in the central nervous system. Yeah? Because we've dealt with signals going in to the central nervous system and signals coming out. And now all information is filtered through the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is like a husband and wife. The central nervous system goes to the brain. Deal with the brain. And the central nervous system, because it has a brain, thinks that it is in charge. That would make it the husband. <laughs> However, sorry, it's just a little dance there. However, in reality, the autonomic nervous system can take away the position of the brain, the permission of the brain, and override anything that the central nervous system says. Anytime. Всъщност автономната нервна система може да отмени всяко нещо, което централната нервна система казва по всяко време. That would make it away. Което го прави се друга. So the husband thinks, I'm in charge. I make the decisions. Whatever I say, goes. Съпругът си мисли, че той команда, той е за нещо. And the wife lets him. The wife lets him. But at any point in time, the wife can say, no, sorry. It's not happening. 
Like when a woman says to you, do what you like, she doesn't really mean do what you like. Do you mean that three times no is one yes? <laughs> <laughs> when a woman says, do what you like, what she really means is, go ahead, see what will happen. This is kind of like the autonomic nervous system. So if the autonomic nervous system is broken down into two, we have sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic is fight or flight, run away, fight. Parasympathetic nervous system is rest, also repair, and digest. And meditate. Meditation will be parasympathetic. If I run screaming and say so with a plastic fork, he has to decide what to do. Either run away or fight. But he's going to need, well, not for me, but generally, if I was a six foot six drunk guy crazed on drugs. He's going to need a lot more energy than he's currently got in his muscular system. To resist? To resist? To resist? Well, to, to power his muscles, to either to have lots more blood, to power his muscles, and to take away the, any pain that he has. So that the sympathetic nervous system shuts down the normal function of the brain. Shuts it down, but becomes becomes the military ruler. And it borrows energy from the other systems, particularly the digestive system. The immune system. The reproductive system. These are all energies that the body doesn't need to stay alive. In the short term. Yeah. If I said to you, you're going to miss lunch today, you're not going to die. So we can live without these systems. If I said to you, you're not going to have, you're not going to be able to reproduce children anymore, well, you might say, thank God for that. But essentially, at any point in time, you now are either in this or this. With your eyes open, alert, you're in this, sympathetic. However, what we need Sylvia to do is to kind of go into parasympathetic. We need to do a bit of repair, rest, digest. So she closes her eyes. We get her to breathe. And these are all aspects of the parasympathetic nervous system. If you go running, you run. Yeah? You are putting yourself into sympathetic nervous system order. It's a stress on the body, very stressful running. In nature, we run for two reasons. We run towards our food, 
German, because we're hungry. German <coughs> or we run away from the thing that's trying to kill us. That's the only reason we run. And some people for pleasure and health? Never. Never for pleasure or health. That's only in the last 35 years. <laughs> and ask yourself this. Next time you see somebody running, how much pleasure is on their face? <laughs> With a big smile, huh? <laughs> How many people do you see running? Just Forrest Gump. Like Forrest Gump? If you want to see a good example, you see uh, Friends. You watch Friends? Yeah. And Rachel went yeah. running with Phoebe. Yeah. Remember that one? And Phoebe goes... Only the kids running like this. <laughs> kids are running like this because kids are in their bodies. Strapping on the knees, strapping on the back, you know, sweating. I'm training for a marathon, I'm going to run 26, 40 kilometers. What? For support. I'm very fit. What for? What you, is something chasing you? You gotta get your food. Just to have another purpose in, in life. I because of the challenge. Such, such friend. He's um, about 60. It's a challenge, man. Yeah. So, to confirm the will, you know. It's cool. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that this is what we do, you know. It's wrong from the scientific point of view. Well, I'm not saying you're right or wrong. I'm just saying yeah. that if we do that, we should do equal time. Um. Of that. That the world would be a happier, healthier place if we did this. Certainly, this lady would be out of the job. Yes, anyway, so this now needs to say to her brother, what do I need to do? It introduces blood supply, it changes temperature, so you put your hands onto this back and you'll feel heat, a lot of heat. We leave the room because we want her to go into a state of relaxation. Yeah, so relaxation. If I'm standing there, She's scared. That's creepy. I've gone, she can just relax, she maybe go into a bit of sleep. <laughs> okay. It doesn't sleep, it's... It doesn't, not deep sleep. It's where the primary motor cortex switches off. Alright, so now we come back in the room, quietly, I don't walk back in, hello, nice and quietly, back in the room, and we do our next set of moves, very simple move, what we're looking for is we're looking to feel the ischial tuberosity. <laughs> So this is our ischial tuberosity. This is our sitting bone here. Ischium. Ilium, ischium. Ischium, ischium. Ischus. Iscus. And we're going to find through the gluteus, through the gluteus tissue, the superficial fascia, we're going to find this bone and just put our, push our fingers onto it because our next move is going to be at the back of the knee in the popliteus. Yeah, we'll look at it, we'll look at it next 
защото следващото ни движение ще бъде запътнено. This is what we call a holding point. Това е което наричаме задържана точка. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a reference into the leg here. We're trying to create this as a reference point in the leg here. Опитваме се да създадем правна точка за кръка. So we feel for the bone, feel for the for the bony bit, and we just drop our fingers onto this ischial tuberosity. Just a little feel of the bone. Don't press too hard. And the move itself is a little lift leg up here. And the move is at the back of the knee, three fingers above the knee joint. So this is the bend of the leg. This is the biceps femoris, semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis. Three fingers, we're going to be in the middle of this space. This is called the popliteal fossa. Fossa popliteal? Fossa means ditch. Fossa means hollow. It's a Latin word. So the Romans made very straight long roads. And they made them on, on, on ditches or, or, or roadways to raise them up. Yeah? The ditches either side. And they call these fossways. You see them all over the world, fossway. Well, they were pretty straight. But they made the ditches out of the side, they raised them and they created ditches out of the side. So they drained. So 